the principle of a potential divider. Now I would like to introduce to you the principle of the potential divider because we will be using this very principle when we are dealing with potential meters. Right before us we are having a circuit diagram and this circuit diagram has a source of EMF which is a cell and it is connected to a slide wire AB. Now this slide wire AB has its length L and we are we are going to get ourselves also interested in a portion of that slide wire which we have called AP and that portion of that slide wire we are calling it length X. Now let's go on and find the potential difference across this slide wire. Now the potential difference definitely this is a circuit now the potential difference across this slide wire so the potential difference across that slide wire VAB is definitely going to be given by V is equal to the current that is going through that slide wire times the resistance of that very slide wire. The same will be if we want to find the potential difference across the portion of that slide wire AP. It means that it's going to be still V which is the potential difference across that portion of AP is going, going to be equal to the current that is going through that portion times the resistance from A to P. Now speaking of the resistance of this slide wire, we are going to use our formula for resistivity. We all know that, resist, um, that resistance can be expressed as the resistivity of this wire divided by the length of the wire over cross-sectional area. A is the cross-sectional area, L is the length of the wire, and this is the resistivity of the wire. If we are to use this value of this, uh, this resistivity to substitute it right there, this is how things will turn out to be. That if you are to get the potential difference across wire AB, Potential difference across wire AB, it's going to be equal to the current that is going through that wire times the resistance of AB. But now the resistance of AB can be expressed in terms of the resistivity of that wire AB times the length, which is the value of L, over the cross-sectional area A of that wire. So if we come and substitute this thing right there in RAB, we substitute it there, our VAB is going to turn out to be like this. VAB is equal to I, which is that current, times RAB. RAB is this expression we got, which is that right there. So we are going to get the same thing and get the potential difference across AP, which is right here. PD across AP is going to be equal to current going through AP times the resistance of that portion of the wire AP. Again, we know that RAP is equal to the resistivity of this same wire multiplied uh, times X over A. Now, X is the length of that portion of the wire times the cross-sectional area of that wire, which is the same as before. We are dealing with the same wire. So it means that, therefore, the voltage or the potential difference across that portion of the wire AP is going to be the current times RAP, RAP being that expression that we are substituting there, that constitutes our second equation. So what is going to happen here now? We want to, to, to compare the potential difference across AB and the potential difference across AP. When we compare them, it means we are just going to divide this, divide by that by that, these two equations. We shall divide them and we will end up with our expression. So when we divide uh, VAP is equal to I times that, divide that by VAB is equal to I times resistivity times L over A. When we divide those two, you will find that the current is the same. It's the same amount of current that is produced by this. So it means I and I are the same, so they will cancel out. We are dealing with the same wire, so it has the same resistivity. So it means these two will also cancel out with that. And then this will become VAP over the potential difference across AB is equal to X over A, divide that by L over A. Of course, this is going to end up being VAP 
over V A B giving us X over A times the reciprocal of this being A over L. This A and that A will cancel. V A P will over V A B is going to be equal to this will be giving us X over L. This is X over L. Now, if we are interested in finding a, the, the potential difference across the portion of this wire, which so happens to be VAP, that means we shall make VAP the subject of the formula. VAP is going to be equal to X over L. Multiply that by VAB. Now, if you look at this expression, we find that X is the small portion, divide that by the length of the whole wire. So meaning that this x over l in essence is trying to represent the fraction of that, of the x, this ap is the, it's the fraction of the whole wire. So it is the fraction of the wire we are talking about, multiply that by the potential difference across the entire wire, which so happens to be the emf of that wire, vab. So this expression shows us that the potential difference across a section of a wire is always proportional to the length of that wire. In other words, if the potential difference across this whole wire is 10 volts and this wire is 10 centimeters, it would mean that each centimeter of that wire is 1 volt. That's what we mean by saying that the potential difference across the section of the wire is directly proportional to the length of the wire. This also simply means that the longer the wire, the, the higher the potential difference across the portion of the wire that we have chosen. Now this principle is what we are calling the principle of the potential divider and this principle of the potential divider is exactly what we shall be employing when we are dealing with potentiometer circuits. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.